Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed a video sitting down in this room in so long, like this honestly feels weird to me because it seems so formal. But I wanted to get back in the new year to making videos in this room because I created this Harry Potter room for this reason, so I want to actually use it and get back to more magical videos. I took a lot of time last year to do different things. I was pregnant, I had a baby, and I kind of went off course with my videos and stopped kind of doing as much Harry Potter content and focused more on vlogs and everything, which I still want to do that, but I do want to get back to my magical videos because those are my favorite and I know that they are your guys' favorite as well. Today, I thought I would start off by doing a Wizarding World of Harry Potter haul. And for this video, I'm going to show you guys all of my house robes. I do own all four Hogwarts house robes from Universal Studios. They are probably one of my favorite items that I have from Universal Studios. From the first time I went there, I got one and then every time after that I got one so I gradually collected them I didn't get them all at one time they are very expensive I'll go into price and everything about kind of the whole outfit that you can get at Universal Studios in this video we are going to be diving in and getting a better look at the Hogwarts robes so when you go to Universal Studios either the one in Hollywood Orlando and there is one in Japan you can purchase Hogwarts house robes and they are pretty expensive so the price for one of these goes for 125 US dollars I do personally think that they are worth the price I will say when I first originally purchased one I believe it was a hundred and ten dollars so I do think the price has gone up unless I'm mistaken I think it has but I still think they're worth the price. I think that these robes are one of those items that are so authentic and good quality from Universal Studios versus any other place that you can purchase a robe. I know that they sell them at so many places, but the quality is just not the same as the ones that you can get from there. So that's one of the reasons why I do think they are worth it. They are gorgeous and I'll be going through in this video I'll probably just like pan through and show you guys how I have all of my robes set up each robe is set up on its own mannequin in my Harry Potter room because I didn't want them to just be hanging in a closet and just not be able to look at them I wanted them to all be on display so each one has its own mannequin with the scarf tie and robe and that's how I choose to have them set up because that's how they would be worn if you wear them as well so each robe is pretty much just all black it has the house emblem on the front left side and then the hood is the color of the house so the Gryffindor one does have that like deep red it's kind of almost like a maroon color and I really like that um, instead of that like bright Gryffindor red the Universal Studios one went with like a more maroon color for all their Gryffindor stuff they did the same thing with the tie and the scarf it's not like that bright blood red color and so I really enjoy that my favorite part of these robes is there is a pocket for your wand this is one of those details in this robe that I think is incredible and I'm so happy they did it because a lot of people every time I've been to the park and I've only gone to the one in Orlando every time I go there I always see people wearing their robes in the park and so it's so nice because most people if you have a robe you probably have a wand you can put your wand in there and then walk around the park since the wands there you can purchase them to be interactive so you can have your interactive wand in your robe pocket so that whenever you come up to one of those areas that allows you to do magic, you can do it there. I've never personally worn my robe in Universal Studios because one, Orlando is so hot every time I go that I just cannot. And two, I am so nervous to wear these robes out and about because I don't want them to get ruined. Like, I'm just so nervous about that. But at the same time, I kind of want to wear it because they'll look cute in pictures and everything, so we'll see. But getting back into the outfit, each house 
obviously is for sale with the robes $125 they sell them at Universal Studios you can also buy them online at the Universal website if you're interested in doing that they go from sizes extra small to double XL for the adult ones they also do sell youth size robes I don't know much about those ones I don't know uh, what sizes for kids they sell but they do have ones for little kids personally I would just want to get one once I'm older so that you don't have to buy it multiple times as your kid grows up because they are so much to complete these outfits I do recommend getting at least the tie and scarf they also sell the house cardigans there. Those are also very pricey. I do not own any of the cardigans just because they are so much and on a mannequin and when you wear it in person, you don't really see it as much as you do the rest of this stuff. So if you are gonna purchase something along with your robes, I do recommend the tie or the scarf to go along with it. The ties go for $31.95, which actually I don't think that price is very bad for a tie. They are also really good quality. I don't know much about ties, but I feel like the look and the thickness of them is really good. The scarves go for $38.95, which also I think is a great price for them. Those are like one of some of those items that like aren't that expensive at Universal compared to items like candy that can be like $15 and you're like how is this this much and this this much the scarves are super nice very thick as well super warm and I actually like wearing them like just with normal outfits I think they look really cute I like having all four as well because then you can match them with different outfits even though I am a Hufflepuff I am one of those people that is totally fine representing another house if that's just the way it works that day back to the cardigans I just wanted to say I did look up to see how much the cardigans were and they are $89.95 so they're pretty much $90 for just the cardigan that's gonna go under your robe to me that's one of the things that I'm like I don't know if I would spend pretty much a hundred dollars on something that you're not really gonna see one day down the line I would probably love to get one for all four houses but when it comes to like you're shopping there you only have this amount of money what should I buy I definitely recommend the robes and then a scarf and a tie I'm also going to go through and try them on for you guys I get a lot of questions on my Instagram people asking me like what size robe they should get when they go there and it's something that like I only knew what size to get by trying them on they have all the sizes when you're there so you can try on which one is best but I have always gotten a size small I have one which is the Ravenclaw one that is an extra large and that's because it's Jonathan's so for me I am about 5'4 and I always get a size small and I think that it fits perfectly you'll see the fit on my body so you can kind of understand how long it is to the foot and then on my arms and then I'm going to also be showing you guys what Jonathan looks like in his robe so you guys can kind of gauge what uh, a male looks like and Jonathan is about 5'9 five, 5'10 five, so and he is in the extra large range but the thing that's cool about these two is they are very loose fitting obviously so I feel like the sizes like you can't really go too wrong like if you ordered I don't know I just feel like if I got an extra small it probably wouldn't even be that big of a difference from the small or if I got a medium like I just feel like you can kind of make anything work unless like the extra large really doesn't work for me like that's way too big but for the most part like one size up I feel like isn't gonna make a huge difference because they're supposed to be very loose fitted and baggy their robes and then obviously the scarves and the ties are one size fits all the robes are dry clean only so you cannot wash these things yourself they're not hand washable you have to take them to the dry cleaner if you want to get them cleaned which is also one of the reasons why I never wear mine unless it's just for a picture like inside or we did wear them for our engagement pictures but besides that I don't like to wear them I don't want to get it dirty because I don't want to pay for it to go get cleaned but if you do want to clean them they do have to be dry cleaned which kind of sucks but also just shows that like the quality of them is really good and it's not something that you just throw in the wash and don't really care about. The things I wanted to point out as well when I'm showing you guys my Slytherin one 
I feel like the material is a little different. I got that one back when the park first opened in 2010. I got my Slytherin robe and I feel like since then they have one changed the color of Slytherin. It's like a darker green now than the one that I have here and so i kind of want a new one because the scarf is a little bit different quality and different color you can see in the hood of the slytherin one that it's a lot thinner and it's more of like a cotton material versus the polyester material that is on the rest of the robes so that was just kind of the older style i think that they changed the material some point in between the span that i didn't go there's about a five year difference between i don't know what they did in between there but I've always been able to tell a difference between the rest of them and my Slytherin one it looks a lot older so I think it's just a difference in material but if you are someone who is headed to Universal soon or thinking about going or wants to buy something online and you're wondering if a robe is worth the price I am here to tell you that it is. I condone a lot of Harry Potter purchases because I mean you can't really go wrong but I will say that this is one of the number one things that I think any Harry Potter fan should own is a robe in their house color so that they can represent. And it just feels so authentic when you're wearing one. I swear it feels like you are going to Hogwarts. Highly, highly recommend. Alright guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see new videos weekly that are mostly Harry Potter related. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys own a robe from Universal Studios or if you're thinking about getting one and what house you are in. I am a Hufflepuff, but um, I own all four because I'm crazy and I needed to. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!